So I've got two books uh, for this bike. I've got the Haynes and the Climber. For some reason the valve clearance size is different. As you can see this one is 84 on all except the R1 and cold engine valve clearance 0 0.07 to 0.12 that's the intake and in the climber it says 0 0.07 which is the same but only up to 0 0.1 and the same on the exhaust the bottom one the bottom of the tolerance is the same no 0.12 as you can see there no 0.12 to 17 my in the climber is no 0.12 to 15 I'm gonna go with the climber I don't want to set it, set it too big because then obviously it's gonna be noisy and the, the bottom of the tolerance on both books is the same and obviously you want to set it above the bottom of the tolerance so we are going to set it around uh, 0 0.085, 0 0.09 the, or the intake uh, valve and the exhaust valve we are going to set it to around 0 0.13, 0 0.14 some, somewhere there you will need a 4 mil allen key a 12 mil spanner and obviously a filler gauge which I've got I've got a 09 a 08 and a 07 so the 7 should be loose on the intake the 8 should be loose-ish and the 9 should be like either very tight or not going in on the intake valve and you should be able to hear your valves like that and that's the exhaust you should be able to hear them knocking if you're not maybe your valve clearance is a little bit too tight so to adjust it well we're gonna check it first uh, I'm gonna put the 07 in into the intake I'm doing it purposely um, I'm on this side so you can clearly see what I'm doing and the 07 is not going in so I think my intake was a little bit too tight to be honest 8 no I've got no chance I can't put the 8 in so we need to open it up a little bit so I can put the 8 in because the 8 actually needs to be a little bit loose-ish I only need to adjust it a very very uh, small amount I'm gonna put the allen key in hold it against the spanner for now alright so we're gonna loose it up that's it while I'm holding the allen key the opposite way so it doesn't move away too much from the position I want it to be okay once it's loose like it is now I'm just gonna move the allen key a little bit so it opens up a little bit then lock it not too tight just a little bit okay and then we're gonna recheck it it's not it's not the right uh, tightness on the lock nut just yet because uh, I want to I want to test it first so the 07 should be loose mm, fairly fairly loose as you can see I will zoom in so you will probably see it this this goes in quite quite easily okay let's try number 08 I'm gonna put it in there 8 is a bit draggy yeah still still goes in let's try 9 that's 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 tight there's a tight nine I would say so that's the point one now that's the top tolerance and there's no way that I'm gonna put that in so actually that was quite quick luckily we're gonna tighten up the note 
even when you're tightening up the knot that might still change the valve clearance a little bit so keep that in mind right i'm gonna try to torque it down but i don't think i don't think my torque wrench is gonna fit in there i've got a small one this torquing down valve adjustment nut i think it's really designed when the engine is out of the frame because i can't can't put it there so we're gonna have to do the old-fashioned way that one so it's a 27 newton meter one so it's not even it's quite uh quite a lot so tight it up guys not red face tight but it needs to be tight holding the allen key the other way okay that should be enough and i'm gonna do one more check i know you, it might sound you're like why are you checking it so many times the reason is because you don't want to do this job every week aren't you so you set it set it right set it once set it right and that's it eyes ah, coming up compression looking for the line come on line here we go check with the 09 0.09 excellent it's not going in and 8 is a nice lovely drag perfect absolutely perfect so intake is done you can hear it you definitely got clearance uh, currently my garage is 21 degrees so actually this is the perfect time to do this so that was the intake and we are going to do the exhaust uh, next but pretty much it's the, the same stuff it's just uh, a different size okay now the exhaust we are still on top that center we got gap there and uh, we're gonna make it we're gonna have to put it between uh, 0.12 and 0.15 so the 12 needs to go in which is 7.5 in my case because i don't have a 12 and i don't have an imperial one 12 15 so the 15 shouldn't go in okay that's good but the 12 should fairly loosely it does go in but it's a bit tight Okay, so we're gonna loose it up a little bit. Same we did with the intake. Put the Allen key there. Hold it against the spanner. Loose up the nut. And then open up the gap a bit. Oh, that was maybe too much. And tight it up. and we're gonna recheck it quickly then we're gonna turn around the engine and recheck it again so 15 no still no twelve is a bit looser than before let's have a look after the engine's turned around. And just recheck it. 15. Nope. 12. Oh, I'd like it a little bit looser than that. It's just a little bit steel. Still a bit still a bit draggy so let's try loosen it up a little bit more just a tiny bit just a tiny tiny bit <laughs> that's gonna be hard this is the hard one when you try to try to loosen it up just a, a tiny bit Okay. 
Okay. I think I managed. Still not going in. 12 should be loose. That's it. See? That's a nice loose 12. So we are definitely at 12. Probably bigger, but not as big as 15. Awesome. I'm gonna turn it round again. Fifteen, okay. Twelve is fairly loose. Oh, it's even looser than before, look. It's flying through. That's very good. So probably about, what, 13, 14? Something like that. That's good. So it shouldn't be noisy. 15 not going in. I would call that a win. I'm going to set the torque wrench to... 27 newton meters I can talk this one down easily but I can't talk unfortunately the intake one down well, it is what it is uh, I'm pretty sure you can see it there 27 let's put it on there that's it and now we, what we're gonna do is recheck it so let's just turn the engine around again should be a loose 12 yep as it was fairly loose and 15 should be an I'll go okay I think we are done with the valve adjustment on the front cylinder. I'm gonna put the covers back on this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show you that, guys. Uh, I just put the covers back. Two bolts, really. Wipe it down. Check the O-ring. I've got the Viton, Viton O-ring, which is quite good, oil resistant, everything resistant. So it should pretty much last forever. This was the valve clearance adjustment. Uh, I know I haven't shown the rear cylinder, but it's exactly the same as the front. Uh, the front is just a lot easier to to record and put it on 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 YouTube for you guys how to how to do the spannering and and all the checking. It's just uh, made made my life a lot easier. Uh, the rear cylinder is basically exactly the same. You just set the flywheel to the top dead center for the rear cylinder, which is the T mark on the flywheel. Uh, you have to remove the valve caps anyway, so you will see what a valve is doing what, so you know exactly where the top dead center is, and you can confirm it with the sprocket on the camshaft and also with the flywheel mark. Uh, this is all important because if you set it 180 degrees away, you set it on bottom dead center, no good. Thank you very much for tuning in and staying with me on the channel, and I have big plans for the winter. I will tell you about it later on. And thank you very much for watching and I see you guys in the next one.